So this is the first ever time that Adidas Liverpool have been made, officially. So first up, we're going to look at a collaborative project we've been doing with the guys at Vans. We're both massive fans of punk rock, so we wanted to kind of tell the story of the era. So we wanted to go from the, the birth of punk, which is garage rock and bands like the Ramones and the Stooges and people like that, and then the whole evolution within the 70s. A lot of the pictures we saw was a lot of striped t-shirts under leather jackets, and that's what something we wanted to bring into the shoe as well. So as you'll see down the throat of the shoe, we've got a striped t-shirt, and around it, leather toe box and up the collar as well as leather. Metal eyelets and metal lace tips as well, and you'll see just on there, just a nod back to it. Other little touches as well, and we've hidden a little Easter egg in each one. There's a date. We're not going to say what the date comes from, but that nods to a, almost a significant moment along each stage. And as with all these shoes and what you'll see throughout this pack, every project we do with Vans for this year, we've got an orange and black license plate, again, nodding back to size, which is a big part for us and continue to tell this story. Moving on from this now, I think what we wanted to show is the evolution of punk within, within the 70s. I mean, and the next natural progression was the, what we're calling the UK invasion or and a kid in the UK. It is a pretty mad shoe, and that was what UK punk was about. It was about being out there, it was about pushing boundaries, it was about breaking away from the norm. Each material is a proper material, so it's not just a pattern, it's not just a texture. You see the patent leather, you see the pony hair, you see the tartan, but it's all proper materials. And then finally, almost comes full circle, very much centered around CBGBs as a club in terms of bands that would hero in there. But this is influenced by another favorite of mine, Talking Heads. So when you actually look at some of the reference images on this, we actually took a lot of inspiration from this palette here. And we almost wanted it to feel a bit mad just to reflect what it would be like to watch one of these bands. And the bands we've referenced, we're not trying to be contrived here. We're not just trying to like channel a kind of subculture that we don't know about or we don't care about just to sell some shoes. We love this era of music and we wanted to celebrate it. And there's no better brand to do it than with bands. 50 years of superstar and this isn't any old superstar this is a new superstar for 2020 the biggest thing of this once you put it on is how comfortable this is i mean the shape's not really changed from the outside you wouldn't be able to tell the difference but i think there's a lot of stuff going on within the workings but now they've kind of sorted that out it's a lot more comfortable but without affecting the shape ultimately we couldn't let such a big anniversary go by without colliding it with our own so you'll actually see a special iteration celebrating not only the 50th anniversary of superstar but the 20th anniversary of size. So what signifies size more than that bright orange? And we just wanted a way of introducing it onto a classic silhouette. It's almost like a little surprise, isn't it? You mean, because you see it from that side and it just looks like a really nice premium execution superstar. And then you flip it to the other side and there we go. The big changes on this one, we've spec the leather up so it's really soft, premium, tumbled leather. Similarly, it's a vintage outsole on it. So I think from our side, we always try and get, strive for that look yeah. of the time, which it'll look like. The tongue's a lot thinner as well, so it's almost like a tongue you'd see on a Superstar 80s. I'm really happy with it. Contrast stitch on the medial side. The key thing to point out is this footbed. So you can see the 50, 20 sign off her. So one of the differences you might notice between a, a more premium version and the kind of one that's coming out on a bit of a wider release is the shells. You can see the, there's a slight difference in them. I mean, we, we're referencing more of a vintage look and more of a premium look. Watch this space, there's a few other things coming, but Superstars can be a massive year and obviously one that we're, it's an icon we're pleased to see back. So yeah, yeah, watch this space on that one. I think these are amazing executions on Max 1. I mean, we're, a lot of what we're going to be talking about for the next 12 months or so is going to be Max Knight, but it's nice to still get some really classy iterations of Max 1. Both of these are referenced in big cities in Europe, so you've got London and Amsterdam. When you look at the shoe a bit more closely, there's obviously references. We've got the Shard, whether it's the O2 or London, London Eye. Eye. On the back there, you can see River Thames running through. They feel special. Instantly, the first thing you do when you pick up is you see how premium materials are. I just love the material mix. I mean, the hurry suede on this, you've got the kind of cord there. Uh, but they, fit, they textures feel on the premium. levers. Exactly, yeah. That leather's ridiculous, that tumbled leather on the, on the quarter panel. And again, a really soft suede around the toe box as well. This has been I'd say about 18 months in the works. Almost, you could say, 10 years in the works, this project. Mm. We're going to have a look at the first exclusive offering of the City Series for 2020. What we've looked at doing is obviously paying homage to what we've done 10 years ago. And what better way of doing it than honouring those cities by using their twin cities. So the first shoe we want to reference is Dublin. So, what have we gone with? It's a Liverpool. This is a massive thing for us. It means so much to us. We've worked so hard on these shoes. They're super, super premium. You'll see the sock liner and the insole is referencing its twin city. Look for things in the box. You'll see maybe the box is a little bit different. Maybe some of the additional laces and things with it are a little bit different. One thing we wanted for these was for people to actually get them 
So for this year, it will not be one of 500, it'll be one of 2020. We thought a nice way of tying in, but also a nice way of making it more accessible. I think one thing we need to talk about is how we kind of got to Twin Cities. I mean, we toyed around with loads of ideas, the legacy piece that surrounds the 2010 cities, and we didn't want to damage that at all. So we kind of played around with a few ideas. We talked about doing whole new cities, UK cities, international cities. We even looked at doing new versions of the original six cities that we did. In the end, we kind of opted for the Twin City thing because we really wanted to go for it in a way. Yeah, we I wanted think... to get some other cities in there, get some other countries in there, some other continents involved yeah. in it. So to look at the whole range of cities that have been done over the years with the brand and to see how global it is and they have the chance to work on it ourselves. Yeah. We just wanted to go as big as possible, but also to almost create shoes that felt like they existed. Now, a big part of Liverpool is obviously the football and the music. We wanted to stay away from anything football related. So you'll see no colours, and no sort of purple wheelie bin references either. I think it's important for us that we've made the shoes feel as genuine as possible, if that makes sense. And, and it wasn't just something that was almost contrived at the back of what happened in 2010, because we know how important them shoes are to people who are kind of a, a part of that culture or in that community. Any thoughts, any feelings, any ideas or stuff you got coming, we'll try and have a bit of interaction in the next one. I mean, we've already given enough away, I think, in that. Yeah, I but don't think we can say anymore. Keep your eyes peeled, that's all I would say. Drop us a note in the comments. I'd love to see some guesses of what other cities we've got coming through from a Twin City perspective. Thanks for watching and join us again next time.